Hey everyone, it is Monday, so I'm gonna wish you a happy Monday. It's almost the end of the day. Something that uh, Greer and I, uh, behind the camera there, get asked a lot about is slides, how they operate. So I thought we would give you like, not the detailed version that our service department could give you, but kind of a general overview. So first, I'm gonna show you a couple of different slides. Now these are all electric slides that I'm going to show you here. So this is like a, what did you say these were called? Schwintech? These are like a Schwintech. So they operate on that, I don't know if you can see that real well on there. We also have, again, still electric. We have the cable system, okay? So a little bit lighter, but still the same, electric. Then we also have... Still electric, and this is gonna run on a gear system, okay? Now, when you get into your bigger, like, Raptor toy haulers or your luxury high-end fifth wheels, then you're gonna get into hydraulic slides. All basically the same premise. It runs the slide in and it runs the slide out. Maintenance, a little bit different. I'm gonna talk about the electric ones. You're going to want to make sure that you check your seals. These are going to be the main thing that you need to check on your slide outs. Few things that can happen with your seals. These seals can actually, and I'm going to have a hard time mimic or uh, faking this, but they can get bent in. So you just want to, a good practice that I always have before I put my camper or before I'm putting everything up when I'm leaving the campground, I do a full walk around of the camper. I make sure I've got all my compartments closed. I got all my hoses and tubes and connectors all put up. And then I just do a quick check of these. Periodically, several times a year, I keep a can of, um, I forget what they call it, but it's a seal for these or a protectant for these. I keep a can in the camper. I'll be at the campground. I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna go around. I just hit all of these. It helps keep them from getting uh, crusty, dried out. Um, the other thing you wanna make sure before you're running these slides in, is that you're checking the top and making sure that you don't have any debris on the top of it. So if you're camping someplace like I camp at Walnut Ridge all the time, we have walnuts that fall, you wanna watch for that. Sticks, whatever, because those could roll in and damage these, uh, these uh, seals as well. So I do that on a regular basis. As far as operating them, let's just do it on this one, Gert. Pretty much every unit, except for um, in the newer units with the in-command system, are going to have some kind of a control panel similar to this. The, depending on the number of slides you have, like this one's blacked out for slide two because you only have this one slide here. But it's as simple as we've checked everything, everything's out of the way, there's nothing that's going to get caught under it. I simply just run it in, slide one in. They're not fast. They're not meant to be fast, really. Now, something while I'm talking about slides, something else that you should check for if you want, uh, and something that my wife and I looked at when we were buying our camper, was if you're going to, say, stop at a rest area and stay the night um, while you're on your way to your destination, or you just want to know if you're going to be able to pull over and use your restroom and get to your refrigerator. So in this model, for instance, as you can see, with the slide in, I can still get to my restroom. I also have a second door on this one, so this really wasn't a question, but without the second door, and I can also get to my refrigerator. So if you guys wanted to pack your lunch in here, keep it cool, pull over somewhere, grab that, and you can even sleep in here without actually running your slide out, which is pretty cool. So that's something to consider when you're traveling, but that's the basics with your slides. Slide maintenance is really easy. Every year I would suggest you take it to your service professional and just have them make sure all the slide mechanics and everything is good. But yeah, basically that's it. You're either gonna have a control panel, in command system, you're probably gonna be on some type of a gear system or maybe a cable system, all electric driven. It runs in, and then when we're at the campsite, always, 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 uh, if you've got a second person with you, 
have them go stand outside or do a double check when you run your slide out that you're not gonna hit a tree or maybe the pole that, uh, that has your electric and your water. That's one of the other main benefits or major benefits of the in-command system. You can connect it to your phone. So if you're by yourself, you can take your phone out there, you can hit the button, run your slide out and actually check to make sure you're not gonna hit anything. Now I know since we just had this out that I can run it right back out. Always run them in or out until you hear this god awful noise, but then stop, don't keep going. You'll hear the noise here in just a minute. That wasn't too bad. So that's when you know you got all the way out. Makes the same noise when you got all the way in. As always, if you guys have questions, you want us to demo on something else, or maybe you want a more deep dive into the differences in the slide out mechanics, let us know. We can always get Josh, our service professional, to jump on that. Have a great day, everyone.